Good day, this is Andrew from BahamianBoatTrader.com, your source for buying and selling boats in the Bahamas. Today's featured boat is a 2,043 foot mainship trawler. We're going to give you a full tour of it now. Let's walk around the outside of the boat first. This is the three stateroom model with the aft master cabin. Uh, she's in beautiful condition. She's powered by twin Caterpillar diesels, 350 horsepower, three 116 models with approximately 3,700 hours. The owner recently installed some brackets for scuba tanks on the aft of the boat. Okay, let's head up to the flybridge next. The flybridge has lots of seating for all your guests and has blue and white striped upholstery that's all in really good shape. Here's a few different angles of the flybridge area. Um, the electronics include an autopilot, Raymarine EV autopilot, a Raymarine A128 multifunction display that was changed in 2015. Uh, it's got Navionics Platinum. Uh, it also has a Horizon Remote VHF and engine synchronizers. As you can see, the cushions are in beautiful condition and remain covered when it's not in use. The dinghy davit is also an upgraded version and can handle a decent sized dinghy. Okay, let's head inside. Here we are in the galley. You've got a four burner stove, stainless steel sink, microwave, and two fridges stackable, one on top of the other. The freezer is underneath the helm seat and we'll show you that in a minute. Here's a shot of the lower helm and the additional VHF radio. That's where the uh, freezer is under that seat. Okay, let's move on to the salon. A nice U-shaped settee, also with well-maintained cushions in good condition. There's a flat screen TV and you can see all your switches on the electrical panel here. It's nice that there's a pass-through from the galley to the salon, so if you're entertaining guests, everybody can be in the same space. Uh, we'll move into the master, and the master has a private head and shower. This aft stateroom is considered to be the owner's stateroom, and it has a queen walk-around berth and like I mentioned, the private head compartment with shower. Um, the forward stateroom is similarly equipped and it has a centerline queen as well and its own head compartment. Here we are in the master's head. Okay, let's head forward. On the starboard side is the head with a separate shower stall with a seat so you can sit down in the shower. Let's take a look at the V-berth in the front of the boat. There's lots of storage in drawers underneath and there's also a hanging locker. Alright, here we are in the 
third cabin, which has twin beds to accommodate two, and then another hanging locker and more storage under the beds. Next, we'll take a look at the bow. The bow is equipped with a windlass with foot controls. It also has holders for your fenders to keep them out of the way. And also there's lots of room for seating on the bow as well. You can see the nice bimini top, which is in good condition. Next, we're going to head into the engine room. Uh, the access is under the stairs. You lift the stairs up and you can access the engine compartment that way. These cat diesels are very reliable and they have approximately 3,700 hours. It also has a Kohler generator that was rebuilt recently. Let's see if we can't fire the engines up for you and let you hear them run. I'll go to the aft of the boat to show you the exhausts. They're very clean, there's no smoke. This boat actually is capable of achieving a wide out throttle speed of 17 to 19 knots. I'm going to leave you with a compilation of photos that show the boat from various angles. If you have further interest in this boat, please call me on 843-771-5967 or my Nassau cell 242-427-3588 or you can email me on bahamianboattrader at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.